Hey y'all, Dwight Carr here, doing my first ever Refuge Daily and Today we're talking about the love of God and, and baseball. And you know, in Ephesians chapter 3, Paul is praying and he says this, For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, and that he would grant you, that's you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his Spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith and that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and the length and the depth and the height and to know the love of God which passes knowledge and that you may be filled with the fullness of God. You know, look at that passage. Clear back to verse 14. And here's Paul praying across the expanse of time for me, for you, that we would be strengthened in the inner person that Christ would dwell in our hearts and that we would be rooted and grounded in his love. That we would comprehend the width and the length and the height and the depth and that we would know the love of God that passes knowledge. And when I read that, I go, well, how can I know that? How can I know what passes knowledge? I mean, if God's love passes knowledge, then, then how can I know that? Well, let me say, at least for me, I can read about God's love, but until I've experienced, I don't really know it. I can read all about baseball. I can know it front and back. I can know all the stats, know all the great players. But if I've only got book knowledge and I've never hit a ball, never slid into second base, I've never caught the ball, I've never thrown the ball, I've never got my pants dirty, then I've never personally experienced it. Oh, I've seen it. You know, I've heard the crack of the bat, but it's others that know the smell of their gloves over their face. It's the same with God's love. Until we've experienced his love in the depths of worry and doubt, we can truly know the heights his love can take us to. We can truly know the height of God's love after we've experienced his love in the depths of sorrow and pain. We can understand the width and the length of God's love after we've seen it in the midst of worry and doubt and uncertainty. We can truly know the length God went to bring us his love in the death of his own son, then we can know the width of it in our lives by the grace of God. So close your eyes. Go on, close them. And pretend you're standing in a circle of God's love. How big is that circle? You know, I found myself standing in a circle about the size of a manhole cover, and my life was like, step into the love of God, step out of the love of God. But God's love is overwhelming and it's everywhere. And everywhere includes in the midst of pain. There's nowhere you can go that God's love for you can't be experienced. Okay, open your eyes. You know, we've all been through difficult times. <clears throat> times of pain, and sorrow, times of worry and doubt. Several years back, our family went through difficult, difficult times. <clears throat> and I struggle with trusting God. Where are you, God? Can't you see what's happening? And I, and I read this passage about the width and the length and the depth and the height. And, the, and knowing the love of God that passes knowledge. And all the while God was asking, do you trust me? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I trust you. Because I know you love me. Because I... Know how you cared for me during this time. I can trust you no matter how high the high or how low the low. I know I, uh, you love me, so I know I can trust you. So how about you? Do you know that God loves you? I mean, really know that he loves you? Well, then you can trust him when you lose your job. You can trust them when your children are in the hospital and the doctors don't know what's wrong. When you think your children are using drugs or uh, getting into a life that's not good and your life seems out of control, you can trust them because when you're at the end of yourself, God's there and he wants to know, do you trust me? Close your eyes again and see the whole of God's love for you. And now open your eyes to the world of love he has given you. He loves you. Look into Jesus' face. He sees you, he sees right into you. 
Receive his love. Receive his love and trust him. Ephesians 3.20 finishes up with this. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think according to the power that works in us. Let that power of God's love work in you today and trust the Lord. All right? Hey, smell the love of God. Experience his love in your life. Get your pants dirty on your knees praying and share and, and experiencing God's love. You know, it's our hope, my hope, that you would know the love of God the way I know the love of God, that you would experience his forgiveness the way I've experienced his forgiveness. And so I pray that today you will experience God's love in your life. All right? Hey, this is Dwight with uh, Refuge Daily. Be well, be blessed, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye.